Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A human wandering into my garden. And a cute one at that. Tell me, little human, do you know where you are? No? Well then, let me enlighten you. You're in the deep forest, the only section of this forest you humans never go to. Or perhaps I misspoke. More accurately, it's the only section that you never return from. That's right, my dear. I can see the realization slowly starting to dawn on your pretty little face. You've stumbled into the part of the forest where Aurane plant boys live. And I'm an Aurane. Don't try to run. It won't matter anyway. Can you smell it? My pollen in the air? We Alrane can secrete a poison that mimics the effect of whatever plant we want. Look at me. Good girl. Now, Look down at the flower I'm holding in my hand. That's a good girl. See how large and pure white it is? How it's shaped almost like a trumpet? This is Angel's Trumpet. It hosts a certain chemical known as scopolamine. You humans use it to treat motion sickness, but it is also known for making humans very... suggestible. That's right. Once you set foot in my garden and breathed in my pollen, you were as good as mine. But don't worry, my little pet. I can be a very kind master. I just so happen to be feeling a bit lonely, and I think having a cute little human like yourself around would help with that. Oh no, I won't be letting you go home. You're going to stay here with me. And if you're a good little girl, I'll treat you well. But first, we'll need to train you a little. You're going to become perfectly submissive to my every whim, without any need for this pollen. I don't want to have to secrete this for the rest of your life, now do I? Oh, don't feel so hopeful. I'm more than capable of it. This is more for convenience's sake than anything else. Now then, look at me. Good girl. I'm going to give you orders, and you're going to follow them. Eventually, 
You're going to get so used to following my orders that you won't even need my pollen clouding your mind. Doesn't that sound fun to you? Nod your head. Good girl. Now, let's start with something simple. Stand up for me. Good girl. Now, sit back down and hold still as I run my hands through your hair. Good girl. You have such nice, soft hair. As you fulfill my orders, you'll grow accustomed to obeying me. You'll start to learn who your master is. Now tell me who your master is. Open that pretty little mouth of yours and tell me who you belong to. Who owns you, body and soul? That's right. Me. Good girl. You're learning already. Now, lay down here on this soft bed of moss and get comfortable. Good girl. Now, hold still while I slowly run my hands up and down your arms. Feel as my fingers trace gentle patterns on your skin. Now you're going to trace those patterns yourself on your arms. Trace your fingers Cross your skin. Let them mark you as mine. Good girl. Keep doing that while I play with your hair. Your hair is so soft. I could spend hours doing this. I'm glad you're being so obedient. Not that you have a choice, of course. But you aren't even resisting my control at all. It seems you're resigned to your fate as my good, obedient pet. As a reward. I'm going to give you a kiss on the forehead. See, being my pet has its benefits now, doesn't it? Now, get ready for some more interesting training. You and I are going to have so much fun breaking you in.